Yo, what's up? Good afternoon. Back at the church again, rehearsing for tomorrow. I'm um, just kind of putting some finishing touches on this fill. Um, in rehearsal, I still was not super comfortable with it in the context of a song, so I am going to play it on repeat like a billion times, and then I'm gonna play the song probably five or six times, and I'm gonna hit the rest of the set, and then call it a day. So, um, yeah, one thing I've been getting a lot of questions about is kind of working with Ableton. So, um, if you don't care about Ableton at all, you can skip ahead, but I wanna show you really quick what I'm doing as far as slowing some stuff down. So, I'm actually going to um, go switch to Ableton screen mode, so here we go. Okay, so now you're looking at my Ableton screen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the drums here. I'm gonna find that tough spot. That's right. Right there, so what I'm gonna do is, I've taken, this is the loop bar, usually like it's at the beginning, so you can just drag it. You just gotta click it and drag it where you want it, and then change the parameters, turn the loop on. See how it enables it there? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this. So normally this is not here. I'm gonna double click on that, boom, it pulls it up. I'm gonna click warp, turn warp on, and I'm gonna change it to pro. And then what that does is I can change my BPM to like 100. And it's slower, you know, you could go, you know, after a certain point it kind of loses its grooviness. But it's a great tool to slow stuff down. So that's just a quick um, overview of how to slow stuff down in Ableton. You can do that for all your tracks. You click, select all of them, click warp, and then you can just go up here and change your BPM to what you want. And then I can click this right here to click back to the normal tempo of the song. Oh yeah, and I also just added a marker, so I right click, zoom in, right click on there, so like if this wasn't here, I right click and then just say add locator. Right, I may want to do like an extra measure. Yeah, so I'll just loop that like over and over and over and over to work on that one section. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna play through the whole song. And yeah, and then I may kind of show you, um, I'm gonna try to spend a little more time and get some better camera shots and kind of get my uh, cinematography up this week. Um, just been so busy, I haven't really had a chance to do some like run and gun vlogging. So I'm gonna try to get some better angles, get some more stuff for you guys. So we'll see. So this is a fun and glamorous part of recording and vlogging and all that kind of stuff that a lot of people don't see. And that is battery and SD card day. Yes. Keeping all this stuff charged, charging all my batteries, and then I'm dumping, clearing out all my SD cards, putting them on a drive. So, um, yeah, the other thing is kind of, I'm working out of my backpack. Uh, I don't have a room in my house to record or uh, like set up all this stuff really, so I carry it all around my backpack, which is kind of annoying sometimes. So I carry like a 50 pound backpack and I've got to unload and set up every time I'm doing something, but it is what it is for now. So I just want to give you a little bit, this is kind of like uh, behind the scenes, a lot of time is spent doing this stuff. So if you want to grind and make videos, you got to be willing to carve out an extra hour or two and format your cards and keep your storage clean and uh, keep your batteries charged so 
just it is what it is here we are back again on this beautiful Sunday morning it's actually pouring outside you can hear probably the rain I walked over but I came over at the perfect time I came right between two uh, downpours so 7-eleven just getting here I'm gonna rehearse the stuff a couple more times Travis is in here working on production stuff trying to get all that going he's excited he's pumped now he's been uh, troubleshooting some stuff so he's been here like all night so he's not excited but it's looking good their monster screen um, so yeah I covered this last night but I've got the time lapse on the monitor I've got the uh, t3i I've got my hero 5 black and then I've got my original hero up here because I really don't like this shot actually I'm it's not really I'm not really a fan of that shot but um, it's good to have something and it's good to have an overhead shot but I'm just not feeling this so I'm gonna try to figure something else out but I still don't know what I'm gonna do with this camera so we'll see um, but other guys should be trickling in here in a couple minutes and uh, we'll get going so just real quick they're sound checking what we do to sound check is every singer sings their part and we sing the same thing every time we sing uh, I think it's we praise your name like the chorus that way it's kind of like a uniform sound check is the idea every week we have some kind of uniform thing to do so they're not going all through each part and then they're gonna go like sopranos together altos together and then tenors together and then all the vocals together so now sopranos together And you're late. Anyway, so just a tidbit, that's kind of what we do for sound check to get our mics somewhat set. Something that we try to do that's uniform, doesn't change. So, anyways. time-lapse thing works so let me explain how this works this is a time-lapse motor so what I do is you can tell it basically over like one hour's time I want you to rotate 45 degrees so then not only do you get a time-lapse video from your GoPro but over that whole hour it's like a smooth pan so it's a really cool effect this is called a turns pro I've got a link to it in the description like a hundred bucks but man it's so cool um, it's just kind of hard to find like good applications for it. I guess just I'm trying to think creatively won't be a great thing. So, but I think it's gonna be cool today. Um, you'll see it, maybe. So, um, did my battery swap, and we're about to roll with second service. So, it's awesome. Oh, uh, on this uh, custom extension, I, I talked about this in an earlier vlog, but Merino Customs headphone extension. This thing sounds way better. I was shocked how much better it sounds. But this little Velcro thing, um, I love it because I can hook it onto my belt loop. So usually I'll like kind of loop the extension in and stuff, but I'm um, having a little Velcro thing. Not that like that's something custom, but I just never thought about that. So having this little Velcro strap, I loop in my belt loop and it stays a lot better. So anyways, great day so far and uh, looking forward to second service and we'll see you guys after.
Well, today was awesome. Just finished up. I'm dumping all the files now. So um, just in case you haven't watched the other, this is actually a three-part vlog series. So I spent the week um, kind of talking about how I work on songs and how I specifically work on this song in this week. So go back and watch those. I've linked them up here. Um, man, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with someone if you think they'd enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love you for it. Um, but anyways, we'll see you guys later in the next video.